We don't pray the problem, but we pray the solution in the name of Jesus. It is, it is in the word of God where the solution is. Amen. It's in the word. And so as we continue to pray the word, whether we're dealing with fear, whether we're, we're, we want our faith to be increased, it's in the word. Whether we're believing God for healing, it's in the word. Whether we're believing God for restoration, it is in the word. And we find the word. We find the word that we can apply to our life. Amen. And so knowing that God is faithful concerning his word to bring it to pass in Jesus name. And so again, we are excited about what God is doing. Let me tell you, I want everything that God has for me. I don't want to leave anything behind. I don't want to miss my moment. I don't want to miss my moment in time. I don't want to miss a blessing. I don't want to, I can't afford to miss a breakthrough in my life. Amen. And so it is important that we are consistent and persistent in prayer that we continue to do what God has called us to do. And sometimes, you know, we, we sometimes, you know, it, it's almost kind of like, you know, my husband talks about the military being battle fatigued, but we have to continue. We have to press towards the mark for the prize of the higher calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. And so we know that there is a prize. We know that we can't give up because we're closer today than we were yesterday. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yes, we're closer. Hallelujah. We're closer. I'm closer to the promise. Amen. I'm closer to fulfillment today than I was yesterday. And I remember, you know, there was a time in my life when I was dealing with, with a lot that was going on. And so I had to press in. I had to press into God. And even as we're on this time of prayer and fasting, and thank you all for joining in with us during this time, this seven-day fast that we're on. I think we're into the fourth day right now. Um, and so if you're starting today, God bless you. Thank you so much. If you've started with us on Sunday, we certainly appreciate that. But get in wherever you can, amen, so that you can take part in what God wants to do in all of our lives. Amen. I see our sister is on here, uh, Tanya Parker. Yes. If you have not registered for um, the meeting that's coming up in January, it's going to be an amazing meeting. So you can go to Trailblazers International and uh, be able to register for that. I really believe it's going to be amazing. We're going to be teaching there. My wife is going to be, te hey, my wife is going to be teaching on intercession. I'm going to be doing a think tank, really helping people to develop the gifts and uh, not just the gifts, but even business ideas, creative ideas, whatever, yes. uh, you know, whatever is on their heart to develop and uh, create during that time. So it's going to be amazing. So make sure y'all get registered for that. I'm going to make sure that we put it on uh, our website and uh, let you know more about it. So this Friday night, let me make sure I give you these announcements as we get ready to pray. I want to make sure that you know this Friday night that uh, we're going to have a worship night. Apostle Ryan McGimsey, of course, is going to be there, and Deborah Branton. And uh, it's going to be amazing. Of course, our worship team will be there as well. And then uh, for those of you who have not signed up to be a bold and fearless intercessor, 1,000 yes, intercessors, come on. make sure you go to our website, www.lejeanevalore.com, to register for that. And then finally, this Saturday morning, Leadership 103, Basic organizational leadership will be teaching December 2nd and the 9th from 10 to 12. And so it's going to be amazing. Next week, uh, we'll be in uh, in um, Bogota, in Colombia. And so that's always an amazing trip to go down to Colombia. So I'm really excited about that. But tonight, we're going to pray. Tonight, we're going to believe God, oh God. for miracles. We're going to believe God for amazing things. Thank you for those who, uh, for, you know, you guys have just been so faithful and so committed. And so we really appreciate you. Amen. Somebody said they signed up for the bold, uh, bold and fearless. Amen. Yes. So much. So thank yes. you for you to do that. That means so much. We're really appreciative for you to do that. Well, as always, I get in trouble. Would you like to lead us in prayer tonight? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> I always get in trouble, but it's good. I know how to get out of trouble. Amen. So come on, lead us in prayer tonight. And then I'm going to follow up after you. Uh, but I really believe it's just going to be an amazing time. Somebody said they're ordering their book now, so we're excited awesome. about that. Awesome. And uh, we're excited about what God is doing. Amen. Absolutely. You know, many times we're believing God for signs, wonders, and miracles. And so one of the things that, you know, I, I feel like God is saying to me that it's not so much a sign. God is not, you know, 
the signs are for the unbelievers, but God is going to make you a sign. He's going to allow you to, uh, to be the manifested glory um, of his manifested glory in the earth. You are going to be the sign. Amen. You're going to be the wonder. You're going to be the miracle. You, the, the things that God is doing in your life, the things that God has brought you out of and is about to take you into, is going to be a miracle. My God, it's going to be the miraculous power of God. You, God, is set setting you up. Hallelujah. Your pain is setting you up. Your past is setting you up to be a sign, a wonder, and a miracle. I just feel that God is taking us into such a place right now. Glory to God that we're going to go into a new dimension in prayer on this morning. We're going to go into a new place in intercession in the name of Jesus. There is such strength on this broadcast. There is such power on this broadcast. There is such faith on this broadcast this morning. And my God, there is absolutely Absolutely nothing that we come together on one accord and declare that will not take place in the name of Jesus. We're calling out names this morning. We're calling out, hallelujah, healing and deliverance this morning. We're calling out breakthrough this morning. We're calling out open doors this morning. We're calling out restoration in the name of Jesus. You got to know that in the name of Jesus. It's not about God giving you a sign, wonder, and a miracle. No, he's make you a sign, wonder, and a miracle. You are the sign that people are looking for because they're looking for something. They're looking for the supernatural and you are it. Hallelujah. You are it. That's why you had to go through what you went through. That's why, glory to God, the enemy came after you because he was coming after your miracle. He was coming after your sign. He was coming after your wonder. But let me tell you, you are here in the name of Jesus. You can tell the devil Glory to God that he can go back to hell because it didn't work. His assignment against your life didn't work. The assassins that he sent out against you to kill you didn't work. They had to go back to hell and say mission impossible because they couldn't get to you. They couldn't destroy you. They couldn't take away your peace. They couldn't take away your family. They couldn't take away your life. They couldn't take away your purpose in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I just feel such a strength on this on this broadcast this morning. Glory Glory to God. There is something that is arising in us on this morning. I feel it from wherever you are. There was a strength. There was a power. Glory to God. There was an expectation of God doing something great and he's doing it inside of you and it's going to spread throughout the earth in the name of Jesus. Your testimony is going to literally go around the world. There are books that you will write and go into places that your feet may never go. Your voice will go into places that your feet may never go, but God God has prepared you to be a sign, a wonder, and a miracle. Come on. Come on, let's pray, warriors. Come on, let's arise, intercessors, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you on this morning. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. We thank you for your unfailing love towards us. We thank you, Father, 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 for your forgiveness of all of our sins. We thank you, God, that you loved us so much that you gave your son for us. We thank you that you are the most high God. We thank you that you are Jehovah. We thank Thank you that you are Adonai. You are Lord and master over our life. In the name of Jesus, glory to your name. Father, we thank you that you have adopted us. We thank you that you didn't leave us as an orphan. We thank you that you are our father. My God, hallelujah. You have taken ownership over us. You are responsible for us in the name of Jesus because you adopted us. You picked us on purpose. You created us in your likeness and in your image. And so God, we come on this morning. We come surrendering ourselves to you giving you our will, our mind, and our emotion, presenting our body unto you as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. Father, we come, oh God, giving you our best praise. We give you the first fruit of our lips, even on this morning, starting this new day, this brand new day. Hallelujah. We give you the first praise. We give you the first glory. God, we come. Oh God, as a sacrifice unto you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you've given us power over kingdoms and over nations. So God, we take authority even now over this atmosphere. We take authority over this broadcast. We take authority over the airways. We take authority over God, every place that everyone is coming from. We take authority in the name of Jesus and we decree and declare no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper. We cast down everything that would try to exalt itself against your knowledge, Father God, in our life. 
life on this morning in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus uh, over our atmosphere, over our lives, over our families, God, over everything that you have placed us a steward over. We plead the blood of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that you have sent angels, God, to be encamped around about us, angels that have already gone before us to prepare the way. Father, we thank you on this morning that we have power and authority over all the power of the enemy. We thank you for the whole armor that we will be able to stand against the wiles and plots and plans and schemes of the enemy. God, we are fully armored. We are covered in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the belt of truth. We thank you, God, that we seek the truth. Hallelujah. God, we thank you that the truth is setting us free and making us free now in Jesus' name. We thank you for the breastplate of righteousness. We thank you that we're in right standing with you, God. We thank you, God, that you have called us righteous through the blood of Jesus Christ. God, that you have given us access to come before you. We thank you, Father God, that as we call out upon you, as we call on your name, God, you hear the cry of the righteous and you deliver us out of all of our troubles in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the helmet of salvation on this morning. God, we thank you that we're saved from sin. We're saved from the penalties of sin in the name of Jesus. We thank you that we've been redeemed from the curse of the law. We've been redeemed from sickness and poverty and spiritual death in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that our feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. We thank you, God, that you are our perfect peace. We thank you that there is nothing missing and nothing broken. You are Jehovah Shalom in the name of Jesus. So, God, we will not be anxious for anything, but through all things through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, we will allow, we'll let our requests be made known unto you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, and it is you that will keep our hearts and our mind in in perfect peace in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for the sword of the Spirit, which is your word. It is the word of God. Your word is sharper than any two-edged sword. It cuts asunder between the bone and the marrow, between the soul and the spirit. It is tr the true discerner of the heart. We thank you that your word is our daily bread. It is our living water. We thank you that your word is alive and it is causing everything to line up in our life. Your word, hallelujah, glory to God. You spoke your word and we we became in the name of Jesus, God. And as we speak your word, God, it shall surely come to pass. God, if your word abide in us and we abide in your word, we can ask whatsoever we will and you will do it in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. We thank you for the shield of faith. We thank you, God, that our faith is strong in you against every fiery dart of the enemy, against every plot, plan, and scheme of the enemy in the name of Jesus, God. We will not fear. We will not be moved in the name of Jesus, God. We will not recant. We will not look back. We will not turn back. We will let nothing separate us from your love, no trial or tribulation, no thing present, no thing to come, nor hide or death or angels or principalities will be able to separate us from your love because God we have faith we have a firmly relying trust in you our faith is strong our faith moves you God our faith is in operation and you're taking us from faith to faith you're taking us from glory to glory we thank you God that you loved us too much to leave us where we were God we, you would not even allow our faith to remain in the place that it was yesterday you're taking us oh God our faith is arising on today. Our faith, hallelujah, is able, glory to God, to conquer. Our faith, Father God, allows us to run through troops and to run and to leap over walls in the name of Jesus. Our faith has caused us to go back into the enemy's camp and to take back everything that he thought that he stole out of our lives in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we're going and we're taking authority. We're walking in the authority, God, that you have given unto us in the name of Jesus. We are arising. We we are arising. We are moving forward in the name of Jesus. This is a time of acceleration. This is the time of increase. This is the time where we bounce back. This is the time where we get payback. Amen. In the name of Jesus for the things that we have sacrificed, for the things that hallelujah, that we went without, for the, for the work, hallelujah. God, we thank you that you're not unrighteous to forget our works and our labor of love. In the name of Jesus, man may have forgotten, but God, I thank you that you have not forgotten 
God. You have not forgotten your word. You have not forgotten our sacrifice. You have not forgotten our, your promise to us. You have not forgotten our prayers. In the name of Jesus, you can forget our sin, but you can remember our sacrifice. So God, we bless you on this morning. We know that you are a faithful God. We thank you, Father, that you have never failed us. You will never fail us. You are not a man that you should lie. You're not like man. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. God, we are only limited in what we can do. But God, you are unlimited. And so we thank you this morning. We thank you, Father God, for your, for your unfailing love. God, a love that cannot fail us. A love, hallelujah, that we can always trust. We can always put our trust in you. We can always stand upon your word. Heaven and earth may pass away, but your word will stand forever. And so we stand on your word. We stand in authority. We stand with confidence. We will not cast away our confidence on today. Oh God, we are confident in the one thing, that what you started in us, you will surely complete in us in the name of Jesus. God, we would have fainted had we not believed in the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. While we are yet alive, while we are living, we're going to see the goodness of the Lord. We're going to see his promises. Glory to God. It's not going to be when we die. It's not going to be when we get to heaven. Oh, oh, yes, we're going to experience some great things, but I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about the promises of God manifesting right now. I'm talking about your joy being full right now. I'm talking about your body being in alignment and perfect health right now. I'm talking about your family being restored right now in the name of Jesus. I'm talking about deliverance taking place in your mind right now in Jesus' name. Glory to your name. You serve a right now God that is manifesting his word right now in your life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes. Well, Father, we just thank you. We thank you for everybody that's on this scope. We thank Jesus. you for every family member represented. Father, we thank you for every city represented, God, every situation, every circumstance. God, that's on the heart of your people, oh God, we thank you, Lord God, that it's on your heart. God, we thank you that there is nothing that we're concerned about, God, that you're not concerned about. And so, Father, even as we pray tonight... Father, we thank you that you're able to be in every place, in every situation, God, touching the hearts and minds, God, of those, God, who are being ministered to. We thank you, Lord God. You're at every hospital bed. God, you're at every every situation, God. We had, uh, 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 you know, even a member tonight who had a family member to die, but God, you're right there with that family member, comforting them, God. You're there with them, blessing them, keeping them strong, God, lifting them up, God, because that's the kind of God that you are. And so, Father, we thank you that even on tonight, God, you're moving by your power and by your spirit. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that every assignment of the enemy against our life has been rendered null and void, that yes. it's canceled by the power of your blood. Father, we thank you that even as we come together tonight, God, to stand, oh God, and believe your word, oh Heavenly Father, that there are miracles that are manifesting on our behalf. We thank you, Lord God, that you're causing things, God, that have been held up to be released. You're causing Jesus. things that were standing still and stagnant, God, to be accelerated because we believe that this is our time, God, to bounce back, to come back, and God, to accelerate. God, to go forward into the things that you call for us to do. Jesus. God, the things that you promise, the things that you call for us to do before the beginning of time. God, you are releasing it and you're doing it for us. And God, you're catapulting us into our next season. You're taking us into that next place. God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord God, that wives are getting into place. Husbands are getting into place. Children are getting into place. God, that they're yes. being catapulted into the place that you predestined for them to be. Places of purpose, God. Places of destiny. God, places, oh Heavenly Father, that only you could put them into, oh God. God, we thank you, Lord God, that even as we talk today about the God normalist, uh, the, the, uh, the God normalist acceleration, that this is that season, God, that they're going to receive acceleration, that they're going to know that only you could have done it. Even as it was for Elijah, when you sent him into the places that you sent him to, places of purpose and destiny, when he was in a place Jesus. where he felt like it was all over, and it was all done. God, you accelerated him. You took him to his next level. Even Job, who had lost everything, God, you gave him double for his trouble. Joseph, who had been who had been in his place for a long time, God, you accelerated. So, Father, we thank you that you're accelerating sons and daughters tonight. And, God, that every situation, God, that they need you to fix on tonight, every prayer petition and every request that you have yes, and every request yes. that they have, God, you're answering it and you're expediting it and you're even reducing the amount of time. God, that's what acceleration is all 
all about. It's not just about speed going forward, but it's also about reducing the time. And so, Father, we thank you, God, that you're reducing the time. God, that you're doing for us what we could not do for ourselves. Yes. Father, you're blessing our families. You're blessing our ministries. You're blessing our churches. You're causing them to prosper in every area and everything that pertains to them. Everything that we had touch, our, that our hands touch. Yes. Father, we declare that it's prospering now. Everywhere our feet tread, we declare that we're possessing the land. Even the thoughts of our mind are being established, God, in this season for us. Father, let not our hope and our desire, God, and the things that we're believing you for return void. But Father, let everything that your people are believing you for, let it come to pass. Let this be their season of fulfillment. Let this be their season of, moment of momentum. Let this be their season of acceleration. Even as we prayed earlier, let a spirit of acceleration, God, come upon them. Let a spirit of momentum yes. come upon them, Father. Let it come so strong upon them that, God, they receive everything, God, that you, that they've been praying for and believing for and trusting for. Father, let this be that season where they're going to receive it. Let this be this that season, God, where they're going for. Let this be their season where they're going to receive everything that belongs to them, everything they're desiring, everything they've been trusting you for. Father, let this be that season. Do not let this be the season, God, where they're believing you for things and trusting you for things that did not come to pass. But Father, we know that you are faithful who promised. Yes. We know that your word cannot return void. It shall not return void. It has never returned void. So Father, we thank you, God, that you are bringing it to pass even now. God, that there is an even now to this thing that God, everything that you promised, everything you said, is coming to pass, God. We trust you for it. We believe you for it. God, we stand in agreement with every prayer petition, every situation, God, every circumstance, every request, God, everything that they're crying out to you for. Father, we declare, yes, an acceleration of even answered prayer in your situation. Father, we declare that this is that season for your people, yes. God, where they're receiving the manifestation of every prophetic promise. Father, every meeting that we do, every place that we do, every business that we have, everything that you've called for us to do. Father, let it be expedited. Father, let yes. it be accelerated. God. Father, let it be bigger even than they've anticipated. God, even for uh, our sister's meeting that's coming up, Father, let her receive an overflow, oh God, of people that are registering. Let it be increased. Father, let your hand be upon it like it's not been and let it double and triple and quadruple yes. what, it's in what she's experienced in the years before. Father, let people fly in from literally around the globe yes. to be a part of what she's doing and bless everything that her, that her hands touch. Bless everything that her everywhere her feet tread. Bless even the thoughts of her mind. God, cause expedited acceleration even on the things that they're building. Father, in that region, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, God, that you're not just doing it even for us and for her, but you're doing it for every person on this scope, every person on this Facebook Live, every person that'll watch this later on YouTube, that God, you're bringing supernatural, oh God, acceleration, supernatural Jesus. breakthrough, supernatural increase, supernatural Supernatural expansion. God, supernatural favor. Ridiculous favor. Let it be upon them. Jesus. Uncommon favor. Unprecedented favor. Jesus. Father, let it be upon them tonight. Jesus. God, as they pursue you like they've never pursued you before. Let this be the season in their life where they receive the manifestation of every prophetic promise. Let this be the season of fulfillment for everything that they've been desiring. Everything that's on their heart. Your word declares that if we delight ourselves in you, you give us the desires of our heart. Your word declares, Jesus. God, that death and life and the power of the tongue and they that love us shall eat the fruit thereof so I thank you Lord God that even as I declare this thing God that you will establish it and Father even as we decree it God it's getting ready to come to pass it's going to manifest in the natural for what you already praying, planned and pre-positioned and, and pre-planned oh God in the spirit realm and so that's all coming into a tangible place in the natural yes. we declare it to be so we decree it to be so and we thank you God that it's already manifest in Jesus name amen Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, there is so there's such, you know, strength in unity as we come together, knowing that you, you're not alone. You don't have to fight alone. You don't have to believe alone. But God has connected all of us together from literally around the world and from different countries because God has called us and he's doing amazing works in each and every one of our lives. And, and I really believe that this is such a strategic time. And, you know, even as God has connected all of us, it is, it is not by happenstance. It's not because someone shared, not because you just happened to see us. No, God ordered all of our steps together so we can stand together, believe God together, and receive together.
Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. We're, we're, we're experiencing the supernatural power of God. There have been hundreds, literally hundreds of testimonies of the, of the miraculous power of God. And so he's causing us to be the sign to the world to say, this is what God has done. This is what, you know, we were just in the, in the store um, tonight and God gave us the ability to minister to this um, lady that was uh, working there. She's from India. And, um, and, and so just the connection was just amazing. And, you know, she said, please pray for me. I believe. She said, I believe. And, uh, and so God will connect you. He will cause you to be the sign, the wonder, and the miracle that somebody else is, is looking for. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, we want the sign, wonder, and miracle, but God said, I'm going to make you a sign, a wonder, and a Amen. miracle to the world. Wow. Yes, yes. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, listen, we're getting ready to get out of here, but we love you guys. Yes. I got, uh, I was trying to get the, I was working on getting the flyers up. Make sure again, if you have not registered to be a bold and fearless intercessor, that you go to our website, www.lashanavalora.com. Now, oh, that's on, and then on Friday night, if you were in the Tampa Bay area, we want to see you. Apostle Ryan McGimsey is going to be here. And then also we have this Saturday coming up, Leadership 103, Basic Organizational Leadership, December 2nd and the 9th. And so I'm really excited about that. And then join us tomorrow at 1 o'clock for Midday with Lejean and Valora. Again, always excited, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I believe it's going to be amazing. Thank you all for being so amazing. We appreciate yes. you. We love you. Yes. We thank God for you. If it were not for you, we would have no reason to be here. <laughs> Uh, but because of you, we are here. Amen. 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 Someone was asking about the PDF, the Bold in Prayer Warrior Fearless Intercessor PDF. Um, if you um, get that from our website, it will be emailed right out to you. So I think I think maybe someone did find out. Cause I, you know, but if, if so, um, that's the way that you get the PDF and it will be mailed out to you. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, anyway, we love you guys. We're getting out of here. We will see you on tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow's day five of our fast, our consecration, yes. our time of just really getting before God. And uh, we really begin to see breakthrough already. And so it's just been amazing what God is doing. And we're expecting him to do even more. Amen. I'm excited about uh, what God is doing in accelerating us and taking us to our next and uh, just amazing thing. So, again, we love you guys so much. Thank you for standing with us. Thank you for not giving up. Yes. Thank you for pressing your way. Thank you for having grit and staying in there and making this grit. thing happen. And uh, again, yes. as always, we're excited. And again, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. Be blessed. Continue to fast and pray. Love you.